one all right we are back wholesome versus mutants one to one one of the best matches of a tournament we've seen so far i'm like they joined by jason this Hello. is gonna be a banger yeah and it's one one after a fantastic hold of asgard from the mutants and in particular sjp nuke and harvey at the end they're just going absolutely sicko mode to be honest really demonstrating the power of the punisher and the raccoon combo and it's available for the side of sinatra and space but dare i say it last map it just wasn't as good. Kaluch, though, looking to portal their team in. So they're going to step through the gates. And while they're gay, Mamu, they've come to bargain. Yeah, same for TTK. Wait, we're going to try and go above TTK's portal, looking to allow TTK to move first. I mean, coming from the top, this is so much safety available for Space in particular, who does not want to be picked. But where is the res beacon? It could be so oh, Great wall onto away. Vinny. Oh, it's a good wall. It might be good enough. Sinatra's down as well. Vinny may have sacrificed their life, but guess what? Vinny's resable. Space didn't have a beacon down due to being that second TP, so Sinatra's not going to be, be returning in good time. Kaluj gets walled in, destroyed, but not before Hydron takes their man in the duel. But Ant, plenty of support behind them. And this Overwatch here is going to be able to do a huge amount of damage to those tanks. Kaluj weaves through the forest and Hydron. Now a target acquired for Ant. And Ant is just going to be free firing from the high ground here. I'm looking at Nuke reposition to probably go and likely sit with their sniper on that high ground. Harvey's got a decent off angle here with one of the clones as well. But Hydron has won the duelist 1v1. Oh, yeah, and Sinatra returning as well, getting that infinite ammo off the rocket raccoon. It's just so simple for them. And one of the things we've got to remember going into this point in particular is that because alts are going to be transferred between rounds, there's even more economic complexity to consider. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be absolutely okay for a side to give it up. Just go next on the round. You don't need to win every fight. You don't need to win every point. You only need two. And if your position is bad and you don't really want to play the retake into high ground control into an, a wealth of ultimates you can just go next force them to expend on that 99 fight and then take the next one at zero zero and get yourself that second cap nuke and co are looking for a bit of a flank here actually yeah critical mass of ultimates achieved by both teams at this moment out comes an amplifier. Is it going to be answered is the question. I remix tries to instead go after the tanks and indeed manages to work it out. The eye of Agamotto. I think it grabs both tanks or at least it grabs hydration. Good peel coming through from Kaluj. Keeps everyone alive for but a moment. I remix is going to be tanking so much of the incoming damage but actually just able to turn it around hydron takes to the air sjp on the other side unable to really find so many targets thus far but has a good angle on these tanks a rebuilding of the cover is all that's needed to give a little bit of breathing room and space still kaluj can't stand up against the might of two ultimates going their way sinatra thinks it's clutchable a couple of the teammates are already dead i don't think Can it they is. find a target at the moment overwhelmed by ant who finds the angle and with three ultimates invested by the defense, it is going to finally be lost. But that was so expensive for mutants. Yeah, and we've seen so much offensive power in these compositions. Both of these teams essentially just trying to out each other. But I want to point out how well mutants go against that Hella ultimate. Hydron has such a good angle, directly above the point. Not really shootable, especially not their head hitbox with that buffed HP. You need to crit them down so fast. And the mutants were just happy to kite it. They waited it out and they killed on the floor instead. They won the ground war. Ultimately, it led them to flip in the point. And now they're in a good position. Harvey might just even kill Hydration here. Oh, Hydration over peeking into a huge amount of damage. Sinatra the same. And guess who's unresable because it's already been used. And take it down on the other side. That's going to be the rest expended on both sides. A big pull in onto the tanks of Wholesome. Really and Benny managed to find a final blow. Let's Ooh. see. Nuke in the back has got so much ability to free hit here, but never mind. They might get stunned up. Oh, Remix not able to use too much of Space's ultimate. And now Hydration has to wonder, am I going to invest in this particular fight? Doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. Just stealths away as Hydron looks for an exit. Frag. And this has been a fairly cheap fight for the side of Mutants, allowing them to build up a new ultimate bank. Yeah, and the fact that Chaluj also uses their Eye of Agamotto in that last fight is big. When I look about the Q buttons across the board, I think that's the one to engage with. You can find a big stun onto the back line, even onto the front line. The burst fire damage is just so, so good from both of these teams. It really allows you to single out the primary target on the enemy team and completely neutralize them. But that being gone from Chaluj, it's just a massive loss for this next fight, especially it could be the last one of the round. Moving forward as a group, we've got ourselves a Harvey ultimate here. Ivagamoto 
doesn't seem remix to hit too bad. many. It is Remix who gets hit, and Vinny's there with the follow-up. Sometimes you just need to hit one person. The res is going to come, but guess what? While that's happening, Ant manages to find their opening onto Hydron. This could be the final fight. Don't want to over-invest here. Oh, that turnaround attempt. It's going to be Hydration who thinks for this winnable. Another amplifier coming out. Hydration jumps onto the point. Can't afford to die here. Their small hitbox won't save them. They could be rest by themselves, though, as Remix is brought on back. Sinatra's got a choice to make. Do I invest here and try and turn this around with Collusion Space down? The answer surely is going to be no. But with a couple of ultimates used here for Remix and Hydration, Sinatra's going to have to go big at the beginning of next round. Definitely. In that last fight, we were in the theatre, the amphitheatre almost, and it was just Nuke on the Raccoon pulling the strings. They were the puppeteer, they were the conductor for that whole fight. For the mutants, getting so much value, perfectly timed ultimate from them, giving absolutely tons, infinite amounts, dare I say, of ammo over to SJP in the literal sense and everyone else. And just being able to beef up the front line of Vinny and TTK as well. Getting the healing, the additional damage, mutants were just able to walk on the side of Wholesome and they had to run for the hills. It's early days to think about economic matters, but how do you feel about the huge expenditure of mutants there to secure that round? In the end, the only thing that matters when the cards are down is having a point on your board, right? But this is going to allow Sinatra a huge amount of space to begin with. I think some ultimates, uh, as we, we get better at the game, just as a community gradually, some ultimates are going to be considered quote-unquote softer as opposed to like harder ultimates to use the term mm -hmm. from other games for example something like vinny's ultimate like isn't the most effective when supports are a lot better and they come up so quick that if it's a 99 fight and you lose it's fine you can just use it but nuke for something is so powerful but again like it charges so quick like nuke is already at 32 percent going into this point Oh, Groot ultimate grabs multiple people in. Seems like for now, no one's really going to be falling down to that. There's Sinatra's ultimate coming out. Vinny's not going to be able to last long against this. Using the cover to their advantage, bringing up the wall to try and just keep Sinatra at bay. But there's only so long you can stop this many bullets. TTK surely going to be the next to fall. And even with the races, hold up and turning this one around. Finding the off angles, finding the hits. Can they get Sinatra as well? He's so low and can find it. Even with the ultimate disadvantage. Mutants are going to pull this one away. That is insane. Yeah, and the ultimates, I think, just came out too early. There was no resources forced from the side of Mutants. And again, it's just Ant on the angle. They don't care and clear the sight line. And they don't even need an ultimate. Why, why would you need an ultimate like that? We can just headshot someone for free with Hella. Balance champ. Balance champion, indeed. A hero, a villain in the end. Oh, Hydron's just under so much pressure. Just forced away and absolutely skewered. And is the hero. That's a res used already. And guess what? Everyone's going to be dragged into the crosshairs now with SJP. Can't afford to overextend. Hydron manages to find the angle. Kaluj gets stunned out by an eye of Agamotto. SJP's been able to eat up that res. As Hydron, he's cooking. An ultimate in the back pocket, but maybe gone a little bit too far. More walls in the way. Broken down by I Remix. An attempt to turn this around, maybe. Oh, they want Harvey. And they want him bad. It's for shift available. You bet that it is. Even with the amplifier on the other side, you've got Ant going to the sky. Looking for Hydron. Yes, the cover won't save you too long against the AoE that this offers. As SJP's been taken down and instantly maybe rezzed. Brought back. Hydron under pressure. Yes, it's a turnaround. Moving forward, Sinatra. Do you have enough ammo in this shotgun? It's unlimited, but it's a peak too far. And gets themselves yet another pick. This guy is aiming like nothing I've ever seen before in this game. A really good patience as well from them to stay in the air for that long they were just whittling down the environment to create no hard cover for hydron to go then they turn their eyes on the sinatra it's one shot two shots three shot and four and all of the wholesome dps are well dead on the floor <laughs> absolutely all that they needed the mutants are in such a good spot now particularly with the two times ultimates basically going to be charged and ready to go for the next fight this fight is must win already a shift use here by hydration moving over onto the group tries to grab everyone in it's vinny who strikes first potentially the ult's ready to go hydron's been taken out that's going to force out the res i am group versus i am group everyone's dragged on in and tzk is more than happy to brawl in the midst of all of this it could be it this could be mutants Taking one away from the favorites in the tournament. TTK forces out Sinatra. There are ultimates in the bank, but they're not going to see any use. What a turnaround as SJP says anyone who dares to show their face will feel the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Mutants have done it. Take a commanding 2-0. Oh, that last map in particular, as we said going into it, they were down in ultimates like they, they did not have the economic resources, you would think, but just pure mechanical outplays 
coming in and it's ant in that first fight to get them going when you win that fight you generate those q buttons yourself you race to them you use the damage to win the fight to use your ultimates to win the next one for free and that's exactly what they did and whilst they did use less q buttons and had access to less of those ultimates did mutants they just use them better i'm gonna be honest